Problems You May Encounter in Laravel. When the public folder misbehaves, then fix it. Let's say you come to here and Laravel, and then you click on public, and you get this object not found error 404. Oh my goodness, what do I do? Well, there's the honorable way out, and then there's the Yakuza solution, which costs a finger. But we can solve this problem without resorting to physical disfigurement. We gotta delete the public directory and redirect the system to where our critical files are stored. Right now on my system, localhost Laravel public. I click on it and oh no, I'm doomed. Object not found. Error 404. What do I do? Let's make it look like this. How? We're going to destroy it and then fix it. Okay, how do we do that? First we go to Laravel and then public. And I double click on I double click on public and open it up and there's its contents. I copy all of this, the contents of public, to here, Laravel. Done. I click on Laravel, it's done. Now you can remove the public folder. I fire, delete, kaboom, and it is gone. Public is now gone. I click on Laravel, where all my files were copied into, and I open this file up, index.php. I go to line number 21, and I'm going to remove this part of the statement. This dot dot slash before bootstrap autoload.php. Like so. This tells the system where to find autoload.php. I also delete this on line 35. Dot dot slash before bootstrap start.php. I delete this too like so. This tells the system where to find start.php. Now, don't forget to save these changes. Now I go to another file. I open up paths.php. Paths.php is in the bootstrap folder of my Laravel version. And there it is. Bootstrap paths.php. I open that up and I go to line number 29. And I'm going to go to line number 29 and I'm going to kill this slash public. Like so. Slash public is now gone from that path. Now, boot up your browser. Now go to localhost slash Laravel slash and let's see what happens. Kapow, it worked. Here you see localhost Laravel. It worked. And that's how you fix a bad public folder problem. This is George Bull. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.